some of the the so next topic is about the hypergeometric series some of the very important functions like the binomial function or the function 1 plus x raised to p sin sin inverse function log function how all this function we can write down in terms of the hypergeometric series so the first question is this verify 1 plus x raised to p is equal to f of minus p b b minus x so verify this we know what is the hypergeometric series so hypergeometric series of f of a b c x will be 1 plus summation and running from 1 to infinity a into a plus 1 up to a plus n minus 1 b into b plus 1 up to b plus n minus 1 upon n factorial c into c plus 1 up to c plus n minus 1 so this is the formula of hypergeometric series and we have to verify this quantity is nothing but the f x plus 1 raised to p so let me write down what are the values we have so it is 1 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity so instead of a we have minus p so this will be minus p into minus p plus 1 up to so on minus p plus n minus 1 the value of b and value of c is same so this quantities are cancel out that we are not writing upon n factorial into x raised to n is already there So into x raised to n is there. Let us simplify this. What we have. And instead of x, we have minus x here. So it is minus x raised to n. And you can just common out how many terms we'll have here. They are n terms, so we can common out this minus 1. So that will give you summation n running from 1 to infinity. p into p minus 1. If I common minus 1 sign from each term here, and that minus 1 raised to n, raised to n, and this minus 1 raised to n will come minus 1 raised to 2n. So that will become 1. That is p into p minus 1, p minus 2 up to so on, p minus n plus 1 upon n factorial into x raised to n. And what is this side? And if I expand this one, so it is 1 plus n equal to 1, that means we have only first term, that is p x. n equal to 2, we have p into p minus 1 upon 2 factorial x square plus p into p minus 1, p minus 2 upon 2 factorial, sorry, upon 3 factorial x cube and so on. And what is this? It is nothing but the binomial expansion of 1 plus x raised to p. This is x, 1 plus x raised to p is there. So that means this is the things we have. Let's have the another example. The question is verify log of 1 plus x is equal to x into f of 1, 1, 2 minus x. Again, we'll start with the series a, b, c, x. What is that 1 plus summation and running from 1 to infinity? a into a plus 1 up to a plus n minus 1 b into b plus 1 up to b plus n minus 1 upon 
n factorial c into c plus 1 up to c plus n minus 1. a is 1, b is 1, c is 2. We we'll substitute that value here and into x raised to n is already there. Huh? x power n is there. We substitute that value here. So that is 1 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity. A is 1. B is also 1. So it is 1, 1 plus 1, 2, up to so on. 1 minus 1. So it is n. Here it is the same thing. 1 into 2 into 3 up to n upon n factorial into this side that is a c is 2 so it is 2 into 3 into 4 up to so on 2 plus n minus 1 so it is n plus 1 so I can say n into n plus 1 into minus x raised to n and you can just see that this is n factorial which will cancel with this and this is 1 into up to n so this is also n factorial that is cancelled with this so what is the quantity left it is 1 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n into x raised to n upon n plus 1 and if you can see that this is nothing but the series of log 1 plus x why this is the series of log 1 plus x because probably you know that the series of 1 upon 1 plus x is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube up to so on. So if I take the integration both sides, the integration from 0 to 1 if I, think, if I take, the so integration of this quantity is log 1 plus x not 0 to 1, 0 to x, if I take the integration from 0 to x, where x is belongs to 0, 1, then this will be the thing and here we will have, it is x minus x square by 2 factor 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x raised to 4 by 4 and so on. So in the previously we have that. Because the first term here n equal to 1 will have 1 minus x and you have to multiply x to this series. So this is actually this thing. Log of 1 plus x upon x. This is the series you have. Because into this series you will have, if you count common out x from this, then it is 1 minus x by 2 minus x sorry plus x square by 3 minus x raised to 3 by 4 to so on is there and you can just expand this series which will have the one if first term is one and equal to one then it is minus x upon 2 plus n equal to 2 that it is x square upon 3 and so on so according to this, we will have that is a series of log x, log of 1 plus x upon x. So that we have verified. The next thing is verify that sine inverse of x is equal to x into f of 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 3 by 2, x square. So this is the things using the hypergeometric series we have to do this. So I will start with this side. So it is x into f of 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 3 by 2, x square is there. So it is x into summation, sorry. 1 plus 
summation n running from 1 to infinity a into a plus 1 up to a plus 1 minus 1 p into b plus 1 up to b plus n minus 1 upon n factorial into c into c plus 1 up to c plus n minus 1 into x raised to n is already there so this is equal to x into 1 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity now a is 1 by 2 so we substitute that value 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 that is 3 by 2 then next term will be 5 by 2 up to so on it is a plus n minus 1 so it is 1 by 2 so it is i can say n minus 1 by 2 same quantity we can have here also so this is 1 by 2 3 by 2 5 by 2 up to so on n minus 1 by 2 upon n factorial in the denominator we have 3 by 2 c is 3 by 2 so it is 3 by 2 3 by 2 plus 1 so it is 5 by 2 next term should be 7 by 2 and the last term is 3 by 2 minus 1 so it is n plus 1 by 2 into x raised to instead of x we have x square so it is x square power n now what we can observe we can observe that what are the terms are left here that we can see first of all this is n plus 1 by 2 is there so what is this previous term it is n minus 1 by 2 because we have to add 1 into that so it is plus 1 will gives you plus 1 by 2 and this term will cancel with this term and so this quantity is now changed to 2n plus 1 by 2 and this 2 is cancelled with this 1 by 2 so in the denominator we have 2n plus 1 n factorial is here so we can have this x into this whole quantity let me write down f of 1 by 2 1 by 2 3 by 2 x square equal to this x x i multiply inside so it is x plus summation and running from 1 to infinity in the numerator you will have 1 into 3 into 5 up to 2n minus 1 if i take the lcm so it is 1 into 3 into 5 up to 2n minus 1 in the denominator we will have this n factorial and this 2 is coming n times so it is 2 raised to n into n factorial into 2n plus 1 that is this 2n plus 1 and if this x is multiplied inside that is x power 2n plus 1 this is x power 2n plus 
this is actually a series of sine inverse of x that we can verify how we can verify see further you multiply here to here you multiply to in the last term so this you multiply by 2 this is multiplied by 4 and the last no need to do that that's more complicated thing so you just have this and let us expand this one so the first term is x the second term is n equal to 1 if you substitute then it is 1 so it is 1 2 raised to 1 1 factorial 2 into 3 here when i substitute n equal to 1 so it is 3 so it is 1 by 6 x cube plus if i substitute n equal to 3 numerator will get 3 denominator that is 2 raised to 3 that is 8 into 3 factorial that is 6 into 3 not 3 factorial it is 2 2 to 2 so it is 4 not 8 so 4 into 2 factorial it is 2 and this is 2 into 2 is 4 plus 1 into 5 So twenty into two, forty. X raised to five, and so on, and that you can verify. That is the, and parallelly you can just expand sine inverse of x. That means what is the Taylor series expansion of sine inverse of x? That you can find out, and see whether it is equal to this or not. and you can find that this is actually a expansion of sin inverse of x let me give you one example here to do it to do yourself verify that tan inverse of x is nothing but the x into f of 1 by 2 1 3 by 2 minus x square You just verify. This is I am giving you as a homework. You can try yourself for this example. Still, 